Yesterday, Nick wrestled an eight foot log out of the canyon. Today, he is milling it. It's hot. It's really hot. It seems kind of unfair that we have cold winters and hot summers. <laughs> but we do. I think a lot of places that have a kind of wild, natural beauty to them also have difficult weather. Um, and we do love our mountain, although it has a very short spring. Our mill is not one of the name brand mills that's available these days. Um, it's not a Norwood, it's not a Wood Miser. I think both of those companies make comparable mills, um, but this one was. Uh, shop built let's look at the plate here this is the only information I have on it because I bought it used manufactured by it used to say Dan Hudden sales incorporated and there's an address um, in upstate New York um, so the story I tell myself is it's a guy with a fabrication shop. It looks like a piece of uh, automation that we used to make back in theater days. Um, tube steel welded together, um, some pillow block bearings, some really nice steel fabrication work, um, but nothing too high-tech. So it's a it's just a six and a half horse uh, gas engine with a little centrifugal clutch. Centrifugal clutch down in there. Uh, the blade doesn't start turning until I get a, above a certain RPM. So I can keep the engine idling um, and the blade won't be turning until I really rev it up. The only real blade adjustment here is up and down and that's done with that little cable winch. Um, so it cranks up and then it slips when you go in reverse. It slips and lets go of it. Um, kind of like uh, what you'd see on a boat trailer. Uh, and all of these signs sort of point towards that it's a, um, it's just, uh, some guy, you know, ordering parts off of McMaster car or Granger or something and uh, assembling uh, assembling a machine that he thought up. It's pretty well done. The drive pulleys are just big steel pulleys and you can see that they've been I don't know if you're going to be able to see it here on this side. If you come around to the other side You can see that they've been balanced by a little material taken out of it, and that's just done for to balance the weight on it. The hub that it's on also has a, an alignment adjustment. Now I haven't had to do anything to it as far as alignment. It it doesn't vibrate excessively when I run it, um, and. Uh, it really has treated me well. The drive uh, tire, if you want to call it that, it's just a, it's, these are just a V-belt pulley and he just got the right size V-belt to throw in there. And um, the tension on the blade, which is considerable, um, keeps that engaged. This is the tension adjustment on the, on the blade. So this is just pushing this carriage away from the other one. And that's how you... Did you find a spider? You could put down the whole board if you're worried about it. All right.
um, I was going on that side because then I put it this way. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so the log sits still and the, the saw moves back and forth. The guy that I bought it off of, um, I bought it uh, a little over about three years ago now. Uh, he had built a log cabin with it uh, actually not too far from us. Uh, so he built a, a log cabin and he just squared off two edges of the log so that they would stack nice and neat rather than the old style of notching and chinking and all of that business. He did a f sort of a flat slab log cabin. Are you going to start cutting? Um, yeah, I'm going to go through the whole setup process. Oh look, somebody tried to move in there. For, yeah. Well. So this log is so short uh, uh, that I'm not making it to both clamps. These are the clamps that hold it. Um, they keep it the first cut 90 degrees to the second cut, uh, but I'm only going to make it into one of them, but that's okay. That's not a big deal. Hair because I'm gonna make a ponytail out of hair. Okay, if you want a hair tie, you get it from the house, okay? With my dolls. Yes, you are. You're so lucky you have all these dolls and now. And I call them brother and sister. Brother and sister, that makes sense. And this is big brother, this is little sister.
going to get run again, at least for a for a two by six. How far through your project are you? Um, well, I don't have to do a log setup again. Um, I have two of the three, three, uh, four by sixes that I need. I'm going to take these reject eight by eights, make one more uh, four by six, and turn the rest into two by six. So these are a lot easier. I don't have to do all the leveling and um, clamping and stuff. If it's square, it can just sit on the saw bed and run against the stops. done. One thing about hot days, it gets, the bread gets really big. That is really big. Well, that was a big one. I can't do a deep kind of pun. Turning clouds in a Okay, night. baby, I gotta make the loaves. You wanna go hole. finish your snack? Oh, dancing between the lines of a moon, not yet so. The radio's playing stupid and it reeks of stale cigarettes. The light through the window already reflects on grave. 